For more on China-Africa ties, we're joined by an expert here on this topic, uh, Winslow Robertson, founder of Cowries and Rice Blog. And you just taught me what uh, Cowries are. Um, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so very much for, for having me. Ch China pledging $60 billion to Africa, canceling some debt, all, all these different deals. Is that within your expectation? No. Uh, so generally, when it comes to a forum on China-Africa cooperation, China is known for doubling from 5 to 10 billion, 10 to 20 billion. So the number everyone was watching was 40. Would China make a commitment of 40 billion? And with China's recent economic slowdowns, people were a, a little concerned they might not. 60 billion shows that, that China is committed to just going over the moon in terms of the, the amount of financial commitments they are making to Africa. I mean, a lot of people around the world um, might ask, why is China going over the moon over various countries in Africa? I, uh, China has a lot of interests in, in Africa, not just in terms of, of natural resources, but also in terms of markets, in terms of political development, and in terms of, of being a, 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 a good partner for South-South development. In terms, of, in terms of what they're trying to do, I personally believe that the numbers, and don't forget, out of the 60 billion, most of it is for loans, preferential loans, but loans nonetheless. They will go to service Chinese contractors. So as China's economic, ec still faces an economic slowdown, Chinese contractors will still have access to pools of money from the China Development Bank and China Exim Bank to go to Africa and, and build roads. So, build so bridges, China loans African country A money the money then goes back to pay China, is what you're saying, to yes. do some more work back in country A. Yes, and, and, and it's, it's generally a mutually beneficial in relationship. Why, why, why do you say generally? There are, I mean, there are issues regarding labor rights and, and the environment and corruption that are, they're, they're broad and, and there's a lot of anecdotes about certain negative consequences. For the most part, the China-Africa relationship is good, more good than bad. There are some bad things. It's not perfect, but China is aware of this. African countries are aware of this, and they want the relationship to get better. Let's, uh, let's talk about more good things. Sure. Um, different sectors to benefit. We've often heard about yeah. energy, roads, and bridges. These are sort of the traditional items on the list over the past, say, five, six years. Do you expect that to continue to be the case? Uh, yes, for the most part, I will say in terms of energy, because of commodity prices and, and oil prices, there might be less of an emphasis, uh, just because a lot of the the oil loans, or a lot of a lot of loans regarding oil extraction are resource backed, so oil prices help pay back the loan. But a lot of other sectors, especially in regards to the services and in regards to to finance. Those are things that I'm seeing grow every year, well, every month, every week. Um, a, a new bank looks for a partnership. People want to use their R RMB. And, and everything from, from technical training to um, j just to helping Chinese people better integrate in Africa, all, all, a lot of that is exploding. Z Zimbabwe and South Africa have seen, uh, seem to get a lot of attention in terms of deals. What makes those two countries special to China? <sighs> A lot of history. Um, Zimbabwe has a unique relationship with China going back to the, the pre-colonial period and, and civil wars and a lot of things. And, and China was a, a partner for its, its anti-colonial movement. And also, China is basically the only place Zimbabwe can get money. Zimbabwe does not have access to a lot of international capital. Zim and Zimbabwe needs China to loan money. It's like the money. Bank of Zimbabwe, so it, to speak. It, it, yes. But but China is not giving away money willy-nilly. They're very understanding that Zimbabwe does not manage its resources that well, and they want to make sure that Chinese money is well spent. You, you mentioned earlier the slowdown in, in, in China, and we've all been watching this, and a lot of people have been asking, w would they pull back possibly on investment? I guess this announcement kind of satisfies that, but doesn't necessarily relieve the long-term concerns, because if the slow growth continues to slow in China, would they continue to pour billions and billions and billions, at least at the same rate? It, the rate is not going to change insofar as China was actually already slowing down pouring billions in because a lot of the money does come from loans. And the China Development Bank and China Exim Bank wants bankable projects. They don't want to throw money hand over foot. And they're very concerned that Chinese money is spent responsibly and that Chinese people get a return on their investment. 
China's economic slowdown is important, but it's a, a necessary rebalancing. And as China's economy inevitably improves, I, I believe it will, then, um, then you'll see a continuation of smarter investment and smarter loans. And that's something that benefits China and benefits the countries of Africa. Well, certainly a lot of people are watching uh, this space very closely. Winslow, good to see you. Thank you very much.